Dr. Sapone, you have five minutes. Okay, thank you, L.S. Kierlich and Minister. Welcome. Uh, on October 11th, I marched peacefully alongside thousands in Tala. I listened to many people's warranted outcry over water charges and other matters. Since then, I've spoken to many people in my community, such as a grandmother in Jobstown who is willing to pay for water, but knows that her adult children starting their own families simply cannot afford to do so because they are in negative equity. The government portrays that it has heated public concerns, but has government listened fully to the concerns of its citizens? No, I do not think that they have. I support a pub single public water utility rather than 34 separate entities. One body allows for an efficient and an equitable supply of water and for adequate investment in the infrastructure. Everyone has a right to clean water. No one should face regular water cutoffs due to burst outdated pipes. A unified public utility also has the potential to promote conservation. We need to create an infrastructure that we can leave for our children. But the establishment and management of Irish water has been an unequivocal failure. Oireachtas members in the public were not and still are not sufficiently involved in influencing the creation of Irish water. These issues must be rectified immediately. So what do we do now? How do we move forward to design a, a system that provides value for money, encourages conservation, and guarantees fairness? We need to establish who is in charge at Irish water. Won't the merger of Ervia and Irish water boards require legislative amendments to the 1976 Gas Act and to the 2013 Water Services Act? The new board needs to be chosen in an independent manner based on expertise. The voice of the consumer, of the citizens, must be represented on the board. Also, the board should have a mandate to cut costs, but these savings for the taxpayer must be done as quickly as possible, not over the prolonged period of time the government is allowing. Other concerns, such as the competencies of senior management, must be addressed immediately to restore public trust. There should be a complete review of the management and operations of Irish water. Public ownership has not been guaranteed. I do not understand why the government has not agreed to put the public ownership of Irish water to the people through a referendum. The regressive model of water charges proposed must be scrapped at once, replaced by a fair system based on the ability to pay. The cap charges are a flat rate. They don't account for the ability to pay nor encourage conservation. Many people in Ireland simply cannot afford to pay water bills in their proposed form. I think government subsidies should ensure that no more than 0.5% of a household's disposable income is spent on water. Penalties would be applied to those wa wasting water to ensure conservation. However, we should not charge people who cannot afford to pay. The Nevin Institute has also proposed innovative solutions for progressive water charges by providing household subsidies, not rebates for water charges. The funding of water should not come from general taxation alone, I think, as this places the burden of water service funding primarily on the working population. Establishing Irish Water as a separate entity is a good way to attract investment. The system does need 12 to 15 billion euros to fix infrastructural issues over the next decade. The money simply cannot come solely from the exchequer. Therefore, investment in water needs to be obtained from a combination of general taxation and water charges in a fair and equitable manner. This is not double taxation, but rather it is a complementary taxation. A public water utility and water charges, when designed, governed, and managed properly, can promote economic efficiency and conservation of a precious resource. And until this happens, I think we should halt the installation of meters. Short-term fixes must not be determined by a small group of government members. Irish water must serve the public interest. The taxpayer has paid for these failures. Decisions must be made not only in the public interest, but also in consultation with the public. A bill payers forum between ordinary people and Irish water, as proposed by One the minute. government, I'm almost concluding, misunderstands, I think, public opinion. In a time of unprecedented protest and historic civic engagement, we should not be defensive, but instead invite activists and community leaders to engage directly with Oireachtas members in an event similar to the Constitutional Convention. Upbeat ministerial assessment of reform measures have not fooled people. But the established, both the establishment of and attempts to reform Irish water demonstrate a broad lack of the reform culture in politics. Now it is clear the government's attempt to end the water crisis has failed. As a result, people will return to the streets in protest on December 10th, and I will be alongside of them peacefully working towards a solution. Here, here. Margaret, thank you, Senator. Uh